So we know that function f is differentiable and uh, as the derivative of f equals uh, some function g of x. We don't know exactly what f of x and g of x are, so our answers will have f, f of x and g of x in them. We need to compute the derivatives of uh, two of uh, these three given functions. So let's start with part a. Um, part a, I'll just copy paste the given function. Uh, so here's the derivative of x plus f of x to the power to the 29th power uh, with respect to x equals uh, so we will use uh, uh, we will use the chain rule here so it equals the derivative of uh, the, uh, it will equal the derivative of x plus f of x to the 29th power with respect to x plus f of x multiplied by the derivative of x plus f of x with respect to x. This equals 29 times x plus f of x to the 28th power multiplied by multiplied by the sum of derivatives of x with respect to x and uh, as a derivative of f of x with respect to x. And this equals 29 times x plus f of x to the 28th power times 1 plus uh, uh, plus, so we know that the derivative of f of x with respect to x is g of x, so it's plus g of x here. So this is our final answer in part A. Now let's do part B. So part B, let me copy paste function B. So the derivative of ln of x squared times f of x with respect to x equals the derivative of ln of x squared times f of x with respect to um, with respect to x squared times f of x multiplied by the derivative of uh, x squared times f of x with respect to x. So again, we have used the chain rule here. Let's simplify it now. So this equals 1 over x squared times f of x multiplied by, here we will use, uh, uh, here, here we will use the product rule for derivatives and we get the derivative of x squared with respect to x plus the derivative of f of x with respect to x and this equals 1 over x squared times f of x multiplied by 2x plus g of x so this equals 2x plus g of x over x squared multiplied by f of x. And this is our final answer in part b. Well, now let's do part c. Again, I'll copy paste it. So, um, part c. So, the derivative of uh, e to the power of sine of f of x with respect to x equals again we are using the chain rule so it equals the derivative of the derivative of sine um, sorry the derivative of e to the power of sine of f of x with respect to sine of f of x multiplied by the derivative of uh, um, sine of f of x 
sine of f of x with respect to f of x, x multiplied by wait let me move this a little bit to the left so and this whole thing is multiplied by the derivative of f of x with respect to x let's simplify it so here we get e to the power of sine of f of x multiplied by cosine of f of x multiplied by g of x so this equals uh, g of x no it equals e to the power of sine of f of x times g of x times cosine of f of x so this is the answer in part c